Hey everyone, if you'd like to find out how to avoid paying income taxes, and of course you do, but you don't want to go to jail, then keep watching this video. I'm Lee Godbold with Junk Removal Authority and JunkRemovalTrucksForSale.com. JRA is the junk removal industry's leading provider of marketing and training services for the junk removal industry. Whether you are not in business yet or you're looking to grow your existing business, we're able to help. Check us out at junkra.com and junkremovaltrucksforsale.com. Also, please subscribe to this channel to get the best content on growing your junk removal business. And before rolling into this video, we do have a legal disclaimer. I am not an attorney. I'm certainly not an accountant. The advice we give in this video needs to be carefully discussed with your accountant before relying on the info that we cover. So right now, we are within a few months of the 2020 election. In 2016, one of the hot topics of that election was Donald Trump's tax returns. He simply would not release them. He said he was under audit and because of that would not release them to the public. Although that part probably was true, it likely was not really the reason he wouldn't release them. The real reason is likely he probably didn't want people to realize if they got his tax returns, he's not really paying a whole lot of income tax, most likely, even though he's a billionaire. The reason for that is our country's tax code is very favorable to business owners. But don't worry, you don't have to be a billionaire real estate mogul to take advantage of this. You are perfectly positioned as a junk removal business owner to do so using something called Section 179 depreciation. With Section 179 depreciation, you can deduct the entire purchase price of equipment from your taxable income in one year. So what does this mean? Let's say that you're going to have a net income of around $100,000 or so for the year. You decide to buy a junk removal truck that costs $60,000. You take that $60,000 and you deduct that from the $100,000 that you would have earned for that year. So you'd only actually pay taxes on the remaining $40,000 in income. So if you pay taxes at a 35% rate, the income taxes you would have paid would have been around $35,000. Now, after taking that Section 179 depreciation for your truck, you're instead going to only have to pay about $14,000 in taxes. Here's the great thing also. You might not have to actually spend any cash at all in order to make that deduction. If you finance the purchase, even if you finance 100% of it with absolutely no money down, so you put nothing down, you're still able to claim this deduction. So if you bought the truck and you put absolutely no cash into the deal, if you financed all $60,000, you can actually take the entire $60,000 as part of your 179 deduction. What this means is that you save having to pay $21,000 in cash simply by purchasing a junk removal truck. So let's go through the options here. You can send $21,000 to Uncle Sam, or you cannot pay anything at all, and you get a junk removal truck out of it. What would you rather do? The choice is pretty clear, isn't it? Now, there is a catch. There's always a catch, isn't there? If you sell this vehicle at a later date, you're going to have to do what they call recapture the depreciation. What this means is, let's say that that $60,000 vehicle is sold a few years later for $30,000. You'd have to do the recapture and pay taxes on the $30,000 sale price for the year the sale occurred on. However, if you were able to delay paying taxes, that is a key strategy that the rich employ in order to actually get rich. Now, here's something really important. The truck must be in service by December 31st to take advantage of this deduction. So you can't just have committed to the order. You must receive it and place it in service so have it on the road doing jobs by December 31st in order to be eligible. As we approach the month of October, the window is almost closed on being able to purchase a truck from JunkRemovalTrucksForSale.com and take delivery by the end of the year. If you want to take advantage of this, you need to speak with Bud today by filling out the contact form on the JunkRemovalTrucksForSale.com website. The great thing with Section 179 is that you can really completely erase your federal income tax burden by taking advantage of it. That same $100,000 income could have taxes completely erased by getting maybe two trucks or buying more equipment to exceed the $100,000 in income. If you bought two trucks, say that's $120,000. If you put no money down, 
then you can actually deduct the entire purchase price of both trucks in the current year up to your income of 100,000. However, you don't lose that 20,000. It simply carries over to the next year as a deduction on your next year's taxes. When you are growing a junk removal business at a rapid rate and adding a couple of trucks a year, it's possible that you can see your bank account growing, but not have to pay a cent in federal income tax. We here at Junk Removal Authority manage Google Ads campaigns, provide search engine optimization, and train current and prospective junk removal owners and their employees to help their owners obtain freedom in their life. We are helping hundreds of people right now, and if we don't work with you, we would love to help you too. Please check us out at JunkRA.com or call 919-617-1975 to learn how we can help you today.